Hi, Terry here from Stamping Magic. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is a fancy fold card. I've used the Whale Done stamp set for some of the images. The sentiment comes from the Peaceful Moments stamp set. And the beautiful papers I'm using come from the Whale of a Time 6 inch designer series paper pack. Now this fancy fold is called a book fold and it's very easy to do. So let's get started. These are all the measurements you need for all the elements required to create this project. So if you're interested in reproducing it, take a screenshot so you can refer to it later. I'll be using Pretty Peacock for my inner cardstock layer. I'll be cutting this with my paper trimmer. Now my vertical ruler is in centimetres, yours may be in inches. If you use A4 as your standard size card, you need to follow the metric measurements, so the centimetres. If you use 8.5 inch by 11 inch card, follow the imperial measurements, the inches. I've placed the cardstock into the trimmer with the short side across the top and I'm lining up the right hand side edge at 2.5 centimetres or 1 inch. Now I'm going to set the vertical ruler at the same, so 2.5 centimetres or 1 inch. Then I'm going to make a cut down to 18.5 centimetres or seven and a half inches. Then I want to repeat that for the opposite side. So I'm going to turn my cardstock around, line up that right hand edge at 2.5 centimeters or one inch again. My blade should already be positioned at 18.5 centimeters or seven and a half inches. So I'll just check that it is and then cut up to two and a half centimetres or one inch. Now I'm going to turn my cardstock so I've got the long side across the top. I've finished cutting so now I'm going to be doing some scoring. The first lot of scoring I'm going to do will be between the two cut lines. So I'm not scoring the outside edge. Now the first score lines are going to be at each end of the cut lines. So I'm lining up my right hand edge at 2.5 centimetres or an inch and then I'm aligning my blade at the bottom cut line and scoring up to the top cut line. Then I'm going to flip that around and repeat for the opposite side. So this time I'm scoring from the top cut line to the bottom cut line. Next I need to do some scoring in between the two score lines that I've just done and I'm lining up my left hand edge this time at five centimetres or two inches and I'm going to score again from the bottom cut line up to the top cut line. Then rotate my cardstock and repeat for the other side. So my left hand edge is at 5 centimetres or 2 inches and I'm scoring down from the top cut line to the bottom cut line. So I've now got two vertical score lines on each side that are 2.5 centimetres apart or 1 inch. Now next I'm going to score this piece of card through the centre point. So in centimetres that's 10.5, in inches that's four and a quarter and you're going all the way up. The final set of score lines will be to the outside edges only. You're not going to score in between the cut lines. I'm going to line the left hand side edge up at 6.5 centimetres or two and five eighths of an inch and then I'm going to score 
from the cut lines to the outside edge on the top and the bottom. Then I'll turn my cardstock and repeat for the opposite side. So that left hand side edge is lined up at 6.5 centimetres or 2 and 5 eighths of an inch and then I'll score that top and bottom border. I'm now going to fold and burnish all the score lines. Now the centre score line on the outside, so the top and bottom, they'll both be mountain folds. So I'm just going to pinch them together for now. The centre score line in between it is going to be a valley fold. The inner score line, so the ones closest to the centre, will be mountain folds. And then the one next to it, towards the outside edge, is a valley fold. So again, I'll do this on the other side, a mountain fold for the inner one and a valley fold for the one towards the outside edge. Now that leaves the ones on the top edge and these are all valley folds. And that's my inner section complete. Now I'm going to fold that all closed and just give it a good press with my bone folder. I want to layer paper all over this panel and I'm using the Whale of a Time 6 inch designer series paper pack for this. I need to cut the side pieces so they go around the raised element of this book fold. And this is quite easy to do. I'm going to cut both sides together and to do that I need to ensure that they're placed back to back and then I'm going to cut out this middle section. So keeping both pieces of paper together, I'm going to place them into my trimmer with the longer side across the top and I'm lining up the right hand edge at 2.2 centimetres or 7 eighths of an inch. And then I'll cut down from the top edge to 3.9 centimetres or one and five eighths of an inch. And then I'm going to repeat that for the other side. So keeping both pieces together, this time I'm lining up the left hand edge at 2.2 centimetres or seven eighths of an inch. My blade is already positioned at 3.9 centimetres or one and five eighths of an inch. So I'll just check it and then cut up to the top edge. Now I just need to cut between those cut lines to remove that middle section. So I'm lining up the right hand edge at 2.2 centimetres or 7 eighths of an inch and I'm going to cut down between the two cut lines. That's down to 11.5 centimetres or 4 and 3 eighths of an inch. And here are my two pieces ready to add to my panel. These are all the pieces you need to decorate the inside. So I've got my two side pieces of designer series paper. Then I've got another design from the same paper pack for the remaining panels. Then I have two Calypso coral mats and two white mats. One of the white mats will be for your message. And the other one I've embossed using the Seabed 3D folder. And then I have two turtles and these I've cut out by hand from another sheet of the paper. So I've used those two turtles. This turtle I'm going to use on the front.
I'll be stamping on some normal weight Whisper White cardstock. This is the Peaceful Moment stamp set and I'm going to use the Happy Birthday sentiment. And this is the Whale Done stamp set. Now this does have a turtle in it, but I wanted different turtles for my card. I'm going to use the reed stamps and the coral stamps. I'm going to start by stamping my sentiment using Pretty Peacock ink. And I'm going to stamp this towards the top of my cardstock. I'll now die cut this using one of the stitched shapes oval dies. And this is the largest one. And I'll die cut it so the sentiment remains at the top. I'll also now bring it in Calypso Coral ink. I'm going to stamp the reed images using Pretty Peacock on the bottom right. And I'm stamping all the images off before I stamp them on the panel. Then the smaller reed image will be stamped twice on the left hand side. And the coral image using Calypso Coral ink on the bottom of the panel. My card base is in Calypso Coral and this is half a standard sheet of card scored in the middle and folded to create a side opening portrait card. Then I have a mat of Pretty Peacock and some more of the Whale of a Time designer series paper and this is one of my favourites from the pack, it's beautiful. I've die cut a Calypso Coral scalloped oval to go under my stamped panel and I used one of the layering ovals dies to do this and it's the largest scalloped one. And I've also hand cut out that turtle that I showed you earlier and I've added dimensionals to the reverse of it. I'm now going to add the inside section to my card. And you want to make sure that the card is the right way up before you do this. The glue only goes on this part of the inner section on both sides. And that's it, that's my card complete. Now this is quite a bulky card because of all the layers and I've used dimensionals on those turtles inside. You could reduce the bulk by not using the dimensionals um, or not using both the cardstock and the paper layers. I'll show you another sample later. Although this will fit in a standard size envelope, I would actually make a box for it and I'll leave at the li a link at the top right of the screen to another video that shows you how to make a box for the correct size. 
I've got a couple of other samples to show you. This first one, I used the Four Season Floral Stamp Set for the images and the sentiment. The paper is from the Flowers for Every Season 6 inch designer series paper pack. And I made this one in exactly the same way as I made the Whale Done one. For this last card I used the Sailing Home stamp set and the Peaceful Moments again for the sentiment. The paper is now retired, so is the trinket and the baker's twine. Now this card is a lot less bulky than the other two. Inside, instead of having a cardstock layer with layers of paper on top, I've just got a paper layer and I've cut this in exactly the same way that I did the cardstock layer on the previous cards. So you can see you get much less bulk if you do it this way. So it's your choice what you want to do. I actually prefer to have both layers inside the card but both ways look just as nice. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.